Okay, Odie, these are the party invitations. Go put them in the mailbox. You realize, of course, this is a rather large mistake. I was expecting the upper crust. Looks like you got the crumbs. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulders Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you go For a walk in the park or a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care Don't forget, kids, look both ways before crossing your teacher. What day is it? What if it's Monday? Yeah, I know yesterday was Friday, but Mondays are sneaky. It would be just like one to bump off Saturday and Sunday so it could get at me sooner. Please don't be Monday. Please don't be Monday. Here goes. Not Monday. Whew. That was close. Wait a minute. What does it say there? John's birthday. John's birthday? And I don't have any money to get him anything. What'll I do? And remember, we're still looking for people to win big prizes. All you have to do is become a contestant on TV's hottest new game show, Name That Fish. Hey, I know everything about fish. That's it. I'll win John a birthday present. Yes, it's time for TV's hottest and wettest game show, Name That Fish, with your host, Binky the Clown. And now, here's Binky. I'm a quiet kind of guy. I'm really sort of shy. I'm deep, sincere, and rather pinky. But whenever I go out, the kids begin to shout. Look, guys, over there, it's Binky. So I go, hey, kids, don't be lazy. Hey, kids, let's get crazy. Run and jump and hop. Don't let your pants fall down. Fun time doesn't stop when you're with Binky the Clown. Hey, kids, hey, kids, hey, kids. You think this is just a little undignified? All right, it's time to play Name That Fish. Get us our first contestant, Gary. Will do, Pinky. We're looking for Garfield Cat. <clears throat> Garfield Cat. Hey, you. Yes, you. Garfield Cat, come on down. Well, tell us about him, Gary. Right away, Pinky. Garfield is from about eight blocks away, and his hobbies are annoying small dogs and sleeping. Back to you, Pinky. Thank you, Gary. Now, Garfield, just for having the guts to show up here today, we have a lovely present for you, don't we, Gary? Right you are, Pinky. It's a tomato bender. Now you can bend your tomatoes with the tomato bender the professionals use. Back to you, Pinky. Just what I always wanted, I don't think. Now, you have to answer this question or name that fish. Are you ready? Good. Christopher Columbus discovered America. What did he have for breakfast that morning? Eh, I'm sorry, time's up. But anyway, it was a trick question. Columbus didn't have breakfast that morning. 
It's just as well, seeing as how I don't talk. But we have a nice prize for you anyway, Gary! Yes, it's an ostrich waxer. Now you can wax your ostrich with the ostrich waxer the professionals use. Back to you, Binky. Thank you, Gary. And now, Garfield Cat, it's time for you to name that fish. All right, for $500, name that fish. Help him, audience. You have selected trout. All right, Gary, tell us the right answer. All right, Binky, the name of that fish is Walter. Ah, too bad. I don't like this game. You didn't win the money, but we have a nice prize for you, don't we, Gary? We sure do, Binky. It's an elephant collar. Now you can collar your elephant with the elephant collar the professionals use. Take it away, Binky. Thank you, Gary. Plus, we also have for you a copy of our home game. What excitement. Oh, do you know what that sound means? This show's been canceled. I hope. It means you get to play the Name That Fish bonus round. Gary, tell him what he has a chance to win. That I will, Binky. It's a vacation. Yes, you'll spend three glorious days and 16 miserable nights at the beautiful Hotel Trousers, where the cockroaches are smaller than the bellhops, but not by much. And it's a new car. It's the Spaghetti 7, the first car made completely out of ravioli. Just fill it up with unleaded marinara sauce, and off you go. And it's all yours, you lucky devil, courtesy of Name That Fish, Binky. Thank you, Gary. Now for our bonus round, you go into the booth. John, what I do for you. to name all these fish before the water gets too high and, <laughs> well, you'd better start. This can't be happening to me. It's got to be a dream. Please let it all be a dream. Hey, Cat, where are you going? See? I knew it. I'm still sound asleep. Huh? Wh where? Oh, it was just a dream. That awful clown. I hope I never see him again. I'll get it. Yes? Are you John Arbuckle? And is today your birthday? Yes. Hey, Gary, tell him what we have for him. Right you are, Binky. John Arbuckle, you receive a special Binky birthday surprise. First, he'll sing happy birthday to you at a restaurant and embarrass you in front of all your friends. Then he'll present humiliating gifts to you, hit you with pies, and dress you in a costume guaranteed to make you wish you were never born. These and other demeaning birthday surprises are all yours, courtesy of Binky the Clown. Well, what do you say? <laughs> There, I got rid of him. That's your present. Ah! Happy birthday. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! Woohoo! <laughs> Having fun, guys? Whoa there! Scram, nitwits! Make room for a real yeah. Yeah! Horse! Faster! Faster, you stupid horse! Yeah! What's the... What's the big idea? Pigs love mud. Yes, but we horses are afraid of mud. Watch me shoot the curl. Watch me hang ten. Yeah, uh, four. Here comes another wave. 
I'm trying to invent mud surfing. Oh, this is a calamity and a catastrophe. What a disaster. Oh, woe is all of us. Wade, you have got to stop panicking like that. But this is bad, bad news, Orson. Wade, there is no news in the world that could be so awful that it warrants that kind of panic. What is it? Your brothers are coming to visit. Oh, this is a calamity and a catastrophe. Oh, oh, woe is everyone. Me especially. You told me never to panic. But this is serious. You never heard how my brothers used to treat me. They used to play runt ball with me, and I was the runt. Hey, brother! Yeah! <laughs> let's toss around the old pigskin, shall we? Oh, let's! Oh. Hey, guys, don't do this! 1791116, I... Go out for a pass! <laughs> I got him! <laughs> I got him! <laughs> Oh shucks, I missed. My brother's coming here is the worst thing in the whole world. Hey, chill down, Pigaroo. Don't get your bacon in an uproar. Bo, you're always so calm and unlike I. How do you do it? There's no point in getting bananas just because you got some bad news or like things went wrong or they're sneaking music in behind you to cue your song. If someone keeps picking on you, making fun of you all the time, there's always a way to get through it without you losing your mind. Just stay cool. Don't get uptight, just stay cool. Don't let little things get to ya. Everything will be all right. Just stay cool. <laughs> if your baseball breaks somebody's window, or there's a wolf at your front door, no sense in worrying about it. You've been through stuff like this before. Just stay cool. Don't get uptight. Just stay cool. Yeah, that's right. Don't let little things get to ya. Everything will be all right if you just ain't cool. I mean cool. Mm -hmm. Great advice, Bo, but I have a real problem here. Hey, man, just scope it out. There's only two kinds of problems in the world. The ones you can solve and the ones you can't. No point worrying about the ones you can solve and no point worrying about the ones you can't. Hey! <laughs> It's simple, man. It's true, you just gotta do a double scope, man. Cool out! If your garden just ain't growing, if you sink when you start rowing, stay cool. Yeah, make like an icicle. Be cool! Yeah, cool. Woo, cool. Real cool. You should listen to that person there. That is one cool sheep. You're right. I'm gonna follow his advice. I'm gonna be cool. Hey, brother, where are you? Right after they leave. Hey, wolfish. Where's the runt? Hey, give it a rest, man. Cut your brother some slack. Oh, the sheep's gonna hurt us. Hey, sheep, take it on the lamb. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting your time, guys. You can't get Bo here mad. Oh, we can't, can't we? <laughs> Afraid not, fellas. Suppose we was to pull on your wool. Would that make you mad? <laughs> No, that would
wouldn't make me mad. Supposing we were to dribble you like a basketball and bank shot you, would that make you mad? <laughs> no, that wouldn't make me mad. Hey, this guy's no fun. <laughs> No fun at all. Yeah, let's go find our runty brother. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where Orson is. He must have left town. Orson must be far, far away in another country or something. Please don't hurt me. He's in here. Sorry, Orson. I'm a coward. I know, and I understand. Hi, brother. Care for a little game? A runt ball? <laughs> Over here. Guys, don't do this. Come on, come on. Guys, please don't do this. Come on, come on, come on. Oops, I missed. No. I got it. No, I got it. No, I got it. I want to kick the extra point. It's my turn. You guys want to play tug of war? Might get me real mad if you won. Really? <laughs> sure, sheep. But we can get back to Orson later. You, uh, <laughs> got it wrapped tight around you? <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> We're gonna pull that there sheep right into the mud. How you figured on doing that? Well, you're at the other end of this rope, and we are... Uh, who is at the other end of this rope? Bus. Bus? Yeah, the 314 bus to the next county, dudes. Hey, brother, what time you got? 314. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bo, thank you a thousand times. Hey, you got mad, Bo. I never saw you get mad before. Oh, I get mad, Wade. I just save it up for when folks are mistreating my friends. But what do we do when the bus comes back with them in four hours? Hey, <laughs> like no sweat. Got a train schedule right here. They'll be just in time for the 725 to California. I like it. It's all just a matter of staying cool. Garfield, where are you going? That's not a hot dog. That's a hot dog truck. I hope you feel like a complete idiot. I do feel kind of silly. What are you chasing now? Well, I have to have dessert, don't I? You should never start rumors, don't start rumors, don't start rumors. I'm in the mood for something exotic today. I think I'll go down to the tropical fish shop and play buffet. <coughs> Sorry, but you can't come with me. You'll get into trouble. Yeah, I know. It wouldn't hurt me to let him tag along. Okay. Oh, gee. All right. I guess you're handy to have along. If we get lost, we can always follow the trail of doggy drool home. Yeah. See, Odie, the sign says don't walk. You should always do what the sign says. See? Don't walk. And now it's changing to... Bark? Don't bark. Don't bark? Hoka? I don't understand it, but at least I won't get a ticket. Here we are, tropical fish, my favorite place to eat, except that they usually get really rude when you bring in tartar sauce. Oh, you want to know what these signs mean? 
Well, this one means no smoking. This one means no food. And this one means... Hmm. I'm gonna need one of my brilliant disguises if I'm gonna get in there this time. There. They'll never recognize me now. Huh? But you might blow my cover, Odie, so you'll have to wait out here. And I don't want you getting in any trouble. You stay right there on that X. You understand? Now, whatever you do, no matter what happens, don't move. Remember, don't move. Ah, a menu. I wonder what the guppy du jour is. Boy, there sure are a lot of fish jokes in the show this week. Hey, there's a dog over there. Quiet, doggy. You're going to the pound, like it or not. shelter about you. Everything's under control here, but we got a call over on Grove Avenue. Let's roll. Have to take you along with us, fella. No time to stop. Hold on. These turns are kind of sharp. You move. 